entrance, what an entrance. What an entrance. Thank you for sitting so far away, ma'am. What the hell are you doing there? Come on down. Okay. Look, I'm thankful enough you showed up on a Wednesday night at 11 o'clock. Thanks everyone for showing up on a Wednesday night at 11 o'clock. Uh, season six premiere, running late. Big night, big night. Wednesdays at 11 o'clock, folks. Normally at this hour, the UCB runs paid programming, but uh, Ron Popeil's check didn't clear, so they gave me the slots. I would have used John Baysdale, but he's one of my guests tonight. <laughs> huh. You doing okay? Big night, season six premiere. Big night, 9-11 Eve. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Excited for? We're gonna make it a 9-11 rockin' Eve. We got performances from Lee Greenwood and Toby Keith tonight. And we'll be counted down to midnight with former mayor Rudy Giuliani. Rudy's in the house. Oh, God. Well, we're all here. This will be fun. We, uh, we're going to celebrate the uh, new season, end of the summer. You guys have a good summer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Summertime done come and gone. My, oh, my. Anyone have any summer loving? <laughs> huh? Is this guy? This guy. I don't know. Why am I doing that? Summer loving? <laughs> summer loving? This is tough, guys. Summer romances are coming to an end, you know? Uh, that gorgeous girl you met in the Hamptons, she's gone back to school, starting her junior year at Dalton. <laughs> you could have sworn she said Dartmouth Law. <laughs> she kept talking about how she's studying for her license. You couldn't have possibly assumed she meant driver's license. You thought she was talking about some law license thing. You clearly don't have a good grasp on how the law works. You should have been tipped off to her real age by how many times she mentioned Ariana Grande. You're not a religious man, but you're praying to God. She doesn't tell her parents and the authorities get you. Ah, summer, huh? Summer, summer. I always get wistful at the end of the summer. You know, it's, uh, it's sad. I mean, you know, your tan starts to fade, right? Your Ebola infection reaches its end stage. Anyone else got that severe septic shock? Come on, raise them up. I know you got them. And of course, uh, the toughest part is bidding a farewell to all those friends you made in ISIS. <laughs> okay, guys, I joined ISIS for the summer, okay? Uh, look, what do you want from me? They got a great dental plan. And after holding so many dead-end jobs and rooting for the Mets, it was nice to be part of a winning team for once. <laughs> Not on board with the ISIS show. I got five more minutes of ISIS material. <laughs> you know, the media's got all these names for ISIS, ISIS, ISIL, IS. But to me, they'll always be Jamie, Brett, Steve-O, and Big Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Things start off innocently enough, you know? We, we were just a bunch of kids back then. We were uh, uh, panty raids into Kurdistan, <laughs> toilet papering Assad's palace. I remember one time after we seized this Syrian village and executed all the men, I taught them cards against humanity. It was a big hit, man. We were up all night. Lots of laughs. Lots of laughs. But they got really mad at me when uh, Obama started bombing them. I was like, sorry guys, I'm no expert in international relations, but maybe you should have attacked the Yazidi people and forced them to flee Mount Sinjar? That one's on you. <laughs> and things got, you know, really awkward when they discovered I was Jewish. <laughs> After that, let's just say, I knew who my real friends were. <laughs> and it wasn't Big Raj. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we feel about this. We're like not quite on board with it. <laughs> things got out of control and they started asking me if I knew any journalists. I know. I said, uh, look, I got a friend who blogs for Huffington Post. They said, no, we want journalists. <laughs> That's a joke by Huffington Post, guys. You can laugh at that. Should go back to the Ebola material. Was that better? Was that better? Well, I gotta tell you the, tr the real reason why I quit ISIS. It's kind of a sausage fest. Okay? <laughs> 
the Tinder scene in Secrete was weak. <laughs> I'm not a racist, but they all look the same. Burka, burka, burka. Left, left, left. The one girl I swiped right, honor killed. Should've worn a burka. I just wasn't cut out for the climate over there. Several times I was hospitalized for chapped lip. And I counted zero pink berries. Okay, sure, they had a couple red mangoes, but I'm not about that life. Red mangoes. More of the story is, I'm happy to be back home, USA. Yes. I liked ISIS a lot better when it was a Dylan song. Spotify, it's a real song, it's a great song. Wait, wait, geez, I have to bring you guys along every inch of the way? Yeah.